Okay, so all the rest of our buttons have been coming along really well. In this page, we're going to have to design our own self-explanatory buttons. So first, I want to put a video here. Kind of show the animation that G.I. Joe was based on. The greatest cartoon in the history of cartoons back in the 1980s. I rushed back from school in 1982 just to make sure I could watch this when it came out. It's like changed my life. But I don't know why you needed to know that. Um, let's go up here. I'm going to create on the top layer one more brand new layer. And let's just call this layer video stuff. Anything related to video, like the buttons and the video, we'll just put it on this layer, okay? What I'm gonna do is hit Command-D for a document, and there's my roster page folder, and I have a folder of videos, okay? The problem is I have an MOV file, which is a QuickTime movie, and I have an MP4 file, which is an actual movie file. Okay, so let's see the difference. I'm going to take a QuickTime file, open, click and drag like any other file right here, and I will get a film strip. This is not a good sign. So when you are bringing in video, that is media. So to handle that, I will go to Window Menu, Interactive, and test out my media. Okay, here's my media panel. There is, let's see if I can enlarge this panel. Nope, okay. There's a little playback button. Play, play my video. Dang, nothing's happening. It's not gonna play this. So I'll delete it. A QuickTime movie will not work. Hit Command D and I'll pick an MP4, a video, a movie file. Now let's click open, click and drag right there. This is the opening frame. I don't get the little film strip, so that's a good sign, but let's really test it out. Let's see if it plays. Yes. All right. When you are working on the page in InDesign, you're not gonna see the video. You can only test it through the media or your preview panel. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna hit the uh, bottom right, hit the bottom left, and let's just see if that video shows up on this page here in just a second. And there we go. So let's jump down to page 10, and we'll go, or page nine. 10, 11, 12, there's our video. There's no way to play it. There's no controls. I have a video, looks cool, but nobody's gonna watch it. Okay, so let's get this out of the way and let's make this video work. So what I need are buttons to know in order to activate this. So I'm gonna go to my text frame I'm gonna click and drag a little button right here. And inside that button, I'm gonna type in play. Okay, I'm gonna highlight the word play, hit command T for my type, and I'm gonna come up the list of my fonts to a nice, simple, bold font, like Arial Black, okay? If I click outside, we can see it's kind of stuck in the upper left corner. So I'm going to hit W for preview. So now I can kind of see where it's stuck. I'm going to highlight that type. I'm going to center the type left and right. And then I'm going to hit Command B for a box. And I'm going to center it to the center from top to bottom. Okay, that's pretty small type. So I'm going to highlight the type size. Instead of 12, I'm gonna go 18 point right there. Great. What I want is a dark button, not a white button on a white sheet of paper. So I'm gonna select here with my black arrow, go to my swatches panel. Let's close this here, got a panels all over the place. I'm gonna to go to my swatches, I'm on the box. So I'm gonna click fill, 
and I want the container to be black, the button to be black. If I click on the T for the type, I want my type to be white or paper. So there's my play button. Okay, and what I want is a series of play, stop, pause, resume. So I gotta make sure I have room for four buttons. So maybe we'll stick this off to the side a little bit. Shift, no. You know, I'm not gonna use shift and op option. I'm gonna use step and repeat. So let's push this down here. Select it, edit menu, step and repeat. I turn off the preview first and I do not want to make a grid. I want three more buttons. So we'll make three. Come on. Uh, three. There we go. And the horizontal, that's a little too high. So let's set that down to zero. There we go. That was too high. That's why it wouldn't go up to three. All right, there we go. Three. Okay. Remember, you always set these both to zero first. Now I turn on my preview, and now I'll just start hitting the horizontal up arrow. I'm gonna just stagger these buttons across. So now I can see I did have room for four. That's great. I'll click OK, I love that. Now it's just a matter of highlighting the names and changing them. This one, I'll hit my caps lock key, will be stop. This one will be pause, and this one will be resume. All right, good enough. I also want a point in the video that people can jump to. You know, the video is almost a minute long. There's a nice point in the video where it describes who this team is or what they are. So I want that point in the video to be a part that people can jump to. So I'm gonna take one of these buttons, option key for a copy, I'll just kind of put it right there. And then I'm gonna stretch this all the way across. And now I can take my type tool and I'll type in learn about the GI Joe team. There we go. All right, great. These are just graphics, they're not buttons yet. Okay, I need to make them interactive to play the video that's right above. I mentioned the word buttons. Okay, so I'm gonna click outside and go to Window Menu, Interactive, Buttons and Forms again. Just get these other panels out of the way here. All right, here we go. So buttons, I'm gonna click this first one I'm gonna convert that to a button. And let's see, I want people to know they can click it. So let's do a rollover. And I just got rid of my swatches. So I'll go to window, color, swatches. And when they roll over that button, since the type is white, let's just make the button green. Kind of like a military play off of that, even though that's a really bright green. Okay, normal button, click to play, green to go kind of thing. Now what I wanna do is add an event. I do not want this button to work when somebody releases it. I only want my buttons to work when somebody clicks on them. What is that gonna do? Well, it's gonna to go to video right here. Cool, now I get video controls. What video is it gonna play for? The GI Joe, that's the only one on the page. What is this button gonna do? Play, that's what I did. Play, stop, pause, resume, play. That's it. Let's do another one. I'll click stop. It's not a button yet, so I gotta convert that to a button. I'll add a rollover effect and there's my swatches panel over here. Let's just stick these all over the place. Uh, that one's gonna turn green when they roll over it. Come back up to normal. I only want the button to work when somebody clicks. The action for that button will work with a video. That's the only video on this page and that button will stop the video from playing. 
Now I'm going to click pause. I got to convert that to a button. I will add a rollover effect. So that button also turns green when somebody rolls over it. Come back to normal. The event for that button will only work when somebody clicks on it. And when they click on it, the action, what's it going to do? It's going to interact with the video that's on that page. That's the only video on the page. And this pause button's options will pause the video. Okay, let's do the last one, resume. Convert it to a button. Add a rollover effect by clicking on the word rollover, changing the button color. I'll come back to normal view. That button will only work when somebody clicks on it. And the thing it's going to do when they click is going to go to video. The only video on the page and the options for that video will be to resume playing the video. Okay, so let's test those before I come to this long button. So let's keep these all kind of situated over here. Let's pull this preview panel back into view. And if I only want to test this one page, I'm going to click the single page. Then I'm going to click the playback to load the information for this one page. There we go. Now let's play the video. Stop the video. Remember, if you click stop, it's just going to rewind back to the start. So let's play again. I can pause the play. I can resume the play, pause the play, stop the play. And again, if I click stop right there, it's just going to rewind. So ah, just be aware of that. But I know my buttons are playing. They're interacting with that video. That's cool. Let's move this off to the side. And now let's talk about this big button. Learn about the GI Joe team. I want to use this as a button for a navigation point. Okay, a navigation point is steering the viewer to a specific point or time in this video. So I'm going to click right here. That will load the information on my media panel. And I'm going to scrub ahead a little bit. And I'm going to click play. I'm going to let this play a little longer. There's a scene where the guy flies in a jetpack here. Right here. It's going to throw a bomb, it's going to explode, and then G.I. Joe. Okay, so I want it. Let's back it up. Pause. Let's back it up here, and I'm going to pause it right when it gets to that explosion here. Let's do this again. The guy flies up in the jetpack and boom, let's stop right there at about 34 seconds. I want this button to jump right to this point in the video where they start talking about who the GI Joe team is. So right here, I'm going to come down and it says, let's hover over the button. No, don't want that. Nope, don't want that. Let's see, let's click here, preview spread, um, play on page load. No, I don't want that either. I don't want the PDF options. I wanna play a navigation point. So let's click here and see what I can do. I want that to be a navigation point in this video if I can get that to come up. Uh, let's see, I've paused my video. Should be able to get a navigation point right here. Let's see, am I missing some buttons on this? Let's go back here. Get that video to come out. Ah, uh, this video panel is kind of frozen here. Let's see, play a video or audio. I just did that. Um, set options for exporting. Let's see if I click. Nope, I don't want that. All right. 
I'm gonna pause right here for a minute. I gotta fix this little panel for the next tutorial. So what I'm gonna do is stop at this point. I gotta make sure I can create this as a navigation point here. So we'll do that in just a second.